I'm Grace Hightower De Niro. I'm the CEO of Coffee of Grace. You're watching Coffee with New York. I believe it was 1975. I was moving from a very small town in Mississippi. I came to New York by the employment of TWA, Trans World Airlines at that time. I had gone through training and become a flight attendant. Upon my arrival in New York City, I thought the buildings were gigantic. And there were so many people, it was quite overwhelming for me. Uh, I had never seen these many people in my life. And yet, at the same time, I was a bit excited because it was something that was so new to me. I slowly adjusted. When you think of a true New Yorker, it is someone who can live at a fast pace. It's someone who speaks their mind. They don't sugarcoat anything. Someone who loves some bit of excitement. Definitely someone who loves a city life, restaurants and museums and the art and the culture. I'm a New Yorker. I love all of those things. Even though Bob is from New York, that's not a minus by any means, <laughs> but you know, I, well, I do recognize that he's very much the epitome of a New Yorker. And I still, and though I love New York, I still view myself as a Southerner. I still hold on to some of my Southern roots and I hold on to them because they're, for me, they're very valuable. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And so he is that person who actually also lives by that, that rule of thumb. Is that's really the basis of a person with integrity. You know, it's interesting. I think of him not as an actor, not as um, a New Yorker. My relationship with Bob is, is really about the person. That's how we met and that's how we related to each other. You know, I just have that Southern thing. <laughs> I am a Southern girl living in New York as a New Yorker. <laughs> Some of my favorite places to go to in New York. The tunnel was one of my favorite places to dance. <laughs> I love restaurants. I used to go to Mr. Chow. Let's see, there was one restaurant that I loved which was Andutwa. Now that I've had kids, the new Victory Theater, and seeing the shows through the eyes of our children is really very special. I really don't have a favorite coffee shop because I haven't opened mine yet. So <laughs> I have an idea of what my favorite coffee shop would look like. I'll share that with you maybe next year. Well, we started uh, Coffee of Grace about four and a half years ago. I heard President Kagame of Rwanda speak about his country and people wanted trade, not aid, that they really wanted to be creative, they wanted to be entrepreneurs, and I found out that coffee was a big resource. I was probably like most other Americans, like thinking uh, coffee comes from Colombia. So it intrigued me, and I wanted to actually see Rwanda and go there and see and meet other people, and um, I did. It was a synergy that I had from when I was growing up in Mississippi because I grew up on a small farm and because I had seen uh, my mom work on the farm. And here in Rwanda, many women w did the labor. That connected me to Rwanda somehow, and they were very small farms. They were mainly family-owned. Um, what has happened is they've formed co-ops, and the more of the co-ops that are existing, the more the community can, say, have a school, uh, otherwise they end up walking miles. Um, stories that I heard my parents talk about in Mississippi, I needed to do something. I didn't know really what. I had never tasted coffee like the coffee that I tasted there. As a matter of fact, I had stopped drinking coffee because as a little girl, my aunt uh, would give me a little bit of her coffee every morning. And I loved that coffee and I don't know what they had in it, but it was good. Since tried to drink coffee, but my stomach could never tolerate it. So I had this coffee and it was delicious. And then I realized I didn't have the jitters. I didn't have the, the acidity that's, that my stomach 
that sometimes would be created in my stomach. And I decided, wow, this is really good. I then decided I wanted to bring it back to the States, raise the awareness, and source directly from the farmers. So it was that trip and meeting the people there and seeing how hard they work and seeing how, va how they valued their work, their lives. Um, and so when I saw that, I thought they're giving so much and wouldn't it be nice if I could help in this process. It wasn't about me giving anything to the people, it's what they gave to me as a person. They helped me to see who I am and what was inside of me and that's an incredible gift.